Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today we are going to play through the demo of Bayonetta Origins, Ceresia and the Lost Demon. In the last Nintendo Direct, I was kind of interested in how cute and how, how good this game actually looks. So there is a demo and I think it will be released on Friday. So that's why I at least wanted to check out this demo with you. And yeah, I hope you're interested. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. And yeah, I would say we will just get started right away. So this demo allows you to save your data to be carried over to the full version of the game. So if you have played the demo or want to play, do it right now. And then if you buy the game, you can carry on your stuff into the full version of the game. Which is kind of basic for Nintendo right now. They let you, or I think for most of the demos out, out there, not just Nintendo, but they let you carry your safe data with you into another game. So I kind of like that. I think that's a good idea. So, okay, so here we are. Let's just start right away. I'm kind of interested how this is going to be. So let's go. I have never played Bayonetta before, so I don't know <laughs> how Long much. Ago, oh. There existed two clans, oh, the Lumen Sages of Light and the Umbra Witches of Darkness. Okay. Together they controlled a mysterious power. The clans put in place strict laws to ensure that strife would never consume them. But a pair of star-crossed lovers broke this rule. And a child was born with the blood of both sage and witch. Okay, nice. It was a beautiful baby girl. Mm, cute. As punishment for their forbidden love, the pair were torn asunder. The girl's sage father was exiled to a far land and her mother locked away in a solitary jail. Mm, the witch kind of clan sad. took in the young girl, but she grew up shunned as a pariah, cursed by the circumstance of her birth. Mm. Her one comfort was the night she snuck into the village jail to visit her mother's cell. Okay. Her mother passed each grueling day, barely able to so much as move in her cold cell. Mm. But when her daughter came to visit, the witch always showed her a loving smile. Wait, what happened to the father? Did I miss it? But even this small happiness eventually came to an end. I like how they showcase the story here. On the night of the girl's 10th birthday, her mother was to be moved to a deeper cell, where even the faintest memory of daylight could not reach her. That's awful. In desperation, the girl tried a daring rescue, but with only a child's strength, the attempt was in vain. Mm. More alone than ever before, the young girl clung to all she had left, a stuffed cat named Cheshire which her mother had made for her long ago. Kind of creepy, but Many also cute. Many have since passed. Turning her back on the village, the girl was taken in by an exiled witch who lived on the outskirts of town. Under her strict guidance, the girl continued to train in the ways of the dark arts. Okay. She was determined to be a powerful witch and one day save her mother. But she's also a sage, right? Her name was Ceresa. Ceresa. I like the name. I love the, the design of this game. I've got to hurry. Move. Okay, we are starting. I love that. Kind of bright. Something's there. 
And I like the voice of the race as well. This place. Great voice actress. I love the design. Look at her. She looks so cute. Okay, I need to pay attention to the story <laughs> and not the art style the of the game. <laughs> Eerie voice. Uh, hello. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> She can't be trusted. Why are they Why so would mean? You say that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the whispering. <laughs> it's so creepy. Oh. She'll bring misfortune to us all. <laughs> so sad. Why are they so mean to her? That's not okay. Oh. Hey! <sighs> what do you think you're doing? I don't know. Everyone's just mean to me. Cereza, you're almost out of time. This is your last chance. If you don't hurry, you may never see your mother again. Who are you? <sighs> oh. John. I... I can't. Her voice is so... I don't know, like a grown-up. And she looks so young. Oh, you big baby. Come on, I'll lead the way. I'm coming. Wait for me. This game is so cute. Oh, I like how she dances to use Here, magic. Use this. Thank you so much. Wow, Sean, you're amazing. So this is like more like jump and run <laughs> puzzle game, I guess. I haven't played something like that in a long time, so... They'll find us. Oh, are we breaking into the jail to see my mother? Hurry up, Cereza. We don't have all night. Yeah, I'm running. Sean, wait! I can't run that fast! Look at my long hair. <laughs> Let's go. I like how everything just Hurry takes form when I reach a certain point. Let's go. Let's visit my mom. What do you think you're doing? None of your business, bro. <laughs> oh no. They're on to us. Leave the guards to me. You hurry on ahead. Oh, Quiet. okay, she's protecting me. Sean, I can't do this alone. Bye, Jean. Oh, do you see the, the black fog? Oh, girl. Okay. Faster, 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 faster. We can do it. I love the art style of this game. It looks so beautiful. I like it. I never thought I would like this. Just but. a little longer. Hold on, mummy. No, oh, hold on, mom. I'm coming for you. Oh, I need to turn the pages. Is that my mom? Oh, 
she's gone. day again. Why are they here? They are so creepy. Why is my sound on the switch always flickering? Okay, what is happening? That's so creepy. I don't like it. What is this? Don't, don't come any closer. Ew. No. They touch me. I'm sorry. What? What is happening? Oh, is that Sean? Oh. Oh. Who are you? Who is that? Power? The white wolf. I'll go. Oh. I promise. Okay. Oh, she's sleeping. That dream again. But the ending. Where did it was all it the was dream? It was a dream Sarisa knew by heart. But this time something had changed. What? Ceresa decided to consult her friend Cheshire. Hmm? A strange boy appeared and told me something incredible. He said if I went to Avalon Forest, he'd give me a fantastic power. Oh, okay, so that was the new thing, the boy. Okay. Maybe he's a sage? Because he was that, all white. Rescuing mummy would be a piece of cake. <laughs> piece of cake. The I like her accent. Forest. The oft repeated warning from Cerveza's teacher rung in her ears. Avalon Forest is home to fairies, creatures who love to whisk away children. Stay away. Mm. Cerveza, where are you, my dear? Hmm? Ceresa's oh, wow. teacher Morgana was standing by the door, her frown discernible even from a distance. Are these horns? <laughs> what is that? Wow. Kind of creepy. Chapter 1 Trial of the Full Moon. Okay, Morgana's house. What is that? Check lanterns along your journey using L to save your progress. The game will be saved automatically at, at different moments in the story. Watch for this icon in the bottom right of the screen. It's been a while since I have spoken English, to be honest. Choose a slot. Okay, I don't have a slot. <laughs> oh, I like that. Completion 3%. Okay. Wait, what's with my... Can I not take him with me? <sighs> Just getting angrier about a second. Okay, I didn't know that I need to read something. I like the music. Chores neglected and I find my apprentice enjoying her beauty sleep. She looks kinda creepy. I guess she's very strict. Sorry, uh, I just closed my eyes for a second. I, I was, I, 
Ceresa uh, began making an excuse, but Morgana's scowl stopped her in her tracks. Yes, ma'am. I'll get to them right away. But despite her best intentions, Ceresa's gaze drifted back towards Avalon Forest. Yeah, I want to go into the forest. This did not go unnoticed by Morgana. Oh. If I've told you once, Ceresa, you must never enter that forest. With your current abilities, you would soon become a snack for one of the fairies who live there. A snack. Yes, Morgana. I know. Well then, stop your dreaming and finish those chores before moonrise, young lady. Alright. Mm. Water from the well. Coming right up. A simple yes will suffice, Ceresa. Off you go. Okay. Despite her strict exterior, Ceresa had grown attached to her teacher. So, it feels like, you know, reading a, a story in a book, like an, an fairy tale book. Morgana had also been cast out of the village. She understood oh. Ceresa's pain, and her stern treatment came from a place of love. Okay. But why? I want to know why she was outcast. I mean, I kind of understand why Ceresa, because she was not a full witch. She's a hybrid of a sage and a witch, but what's with her? Maybe she's like her? I don't know. Okay. Draw water at the eastern well. I really love how this game looks. It looks really, really good. I love Ceresa the often reminded herself that these chores were all part of her training. Eager to please her master, she hurried off towards the well. Okay, let's go to the well then and collect some water. Check. <sighs> these heavy lamps are so hard to clean. Oh my, they've gotten di dirty again. Okay. Oh, what a cute little fishy. I hope you grow up big and strong. I can't do an English accent because I have What's a strong this? German accent. <laughs> I wonder if Morgana chose these lambs. Funny, I think we may have similar taste. Ceresa can check out a variety of things with L. Try L with anything that catches your eye. I already did that. Let's go, let's draw some water. I like that, that's cute, it's funny. Okay, let's go. Fetching a pail of water, it may seem like a simple chore, but it requires a fine sense of control, making it perfect for Umbran training. I really love this game right now. But it costs a lot. It's really expensive. Like 60 euros in the Nintendo eShop. It's kinda expensive. After laying eyes on the full bucket, Morgana gave a small nod of approval. Good. Now collect the herbs from the garden. Okay. Oh. <sighs> At the thought of herbs, Ceresa could not help but make a face. Why? This is she one allergic? job she wished could be forever stricken from her regimen. Why? Do we have a problem? I no, guess. ma'am. I love Ceresa's character Trying design. Trying not to think about the task awaiting her, Ceresa headed towards the herb garden. The herbs in Morgana's garden were not your common basil or thyme. Mm. She grew infernal plants. With an absolutely foul stench. Okay. So they stink. <laughs> they typically burrowed to avoid sunlight. But a little bit of magic made them pop right up. Wait, wait, wait. Which way do I need to go? I love this witchy stuff. It's cool. 
Wow, such a lovely view. I could just stay here forever, but no time for that. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I think I need to go all the way around here. You know, always when I play a game and I record it, I kind of, you know, miss so much stuff. And when I, you know, look at the footage after recording, I just think, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just so dumb for missing a lot of stuff in a game. Which pulse is a fundamental ombre art that utilizes dance to imbue its target with magic energy? I like that. I like dancing. Sarisa can use her witch pulse to grow infernal plants. Hold set L and tilt L in the right direction with the correct timing. Okay. Dinner time! One helping of magic coming right up! Wait, what? Huh? Wait, <laughs> I don't get it. What? What is that? What's my textbook doing here? I'd better put it away later. Okay. Wait, wait. I forgot how to do it. Can I see it again? Check the game's tutorial. Uh, which pulls tilt L with the right direction. Wait, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> huh? It's saying L, right? Am I dumb? Then tilt L with the right direction. Oh, maybe I need to hold it longer. Wait, I'm doing that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hurry on out! Good! Okay, okay. If you find which pulls the music, you can change your settings so that the reason will perform it on your own. Okay, no, no, no. I will master this. Just a bit more. Okay, okay. There we go. What the hell is that? Uh, to summon infernal thorns that can bind enemies. Doing so will cost one spell cooldown. No gauge. one told me they could do this. I've got I to can't catch it quick. My Camera, camera. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> I got it. Uh, okay, I'm not the perfect yes, witch. I'm still it. in training. <laughs> Ceresa was pleasantly surprised. She usually managed to make a mess with even this rudimentary magic. I can't wait to see the look on Morgana's face. I don't want to see her look on her face when she would have seen what I have done here. Hmm? Ceresa hummed a happy tune while picking the herbs. As she bent down, she noticed a pretty flower growing amongst the weeds. Okay. Oh, those flowers would really bring out the color in Morgana's eyes. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Pick up. Oh, okay, so I'm carrying them. I wouldn't mind if it weren't for the smell. Wait, there was another way? No. Uh, 
I'm back, Morgana. Here are your fruits, and I brought you some flowers. Ceresa proudly gave the basket to Morgana. It was full to bursting. How about that, Morgana? Quite the harvest, wouldn't you say? Hmm? I also picked these violets. They're for you. I thought you might like them. She's so cute. Atop the herbs lay a small wreath. Morgana glanced down at it. Please be nice. Her expression unchanged. She spoke to Ceresa in her usual tone. Do not expect praise for this sort of perfunctory performance. Mm. Oh, and Ceresa, your hair today seems to have lost its sheen. Do not tell me that in addition to your outdoor tasks, you're also neglecting your hair. Uh, no, ma'am. It's next on my list. Uh, remember, Ceresa. Why her hair? Hair is the most versatile tool of an Umbra witch. It can be shaped into our armor, weapons, oh. and even used as a medium for summoning infernal demons. As blood flows through veins, magic flows through a witch's hair. Care for okay. it as you would your most precious tool. And defend it as you would your very heart. Okay. I think that's a Bayonetta thing, right? I have never played Bayonetta, so I don't know. But I think it's the same in the Bayonetta games. Probably. Understood. I'll make sure to finish up before training starts tonight. Good. Now get back to your chores. The shadows grew long. The moon will soon rise. With this, Morgana turned and walked back towards the house. Yes, ma'am. At times, Morgana's cold treatment got Ceresa down. Where is Morgana's hair? Or is it the horns? But Which she would be knew that creepy. Morgana cared for her and only wanted what was best for her. Oh, but she's wearing the flowers as a bracelet, right? At least in the picture. <laughs> Making a quick recovery, Ceresa resolved to finish her remaining chores in record time. That night. What's going on? Almost time for today's training. I'd better hurry, or I'm in for another lecture. Okay, I guess it's just normal witches training at night. Let me save. I forgot to clean this, but Morgana shouldn't notice when it's dark. Okay, I guess I need to go upstairs, maybe? To this kind of ritual circle. With the household chores complete, it was time for Ceresa's daily training in the dark arts. Today, she was finally going to get a chance to attempt a spell she had been practicing for weeks. Summoning an infernal demon. Oh, okay, let's summon some demons. For today's training, I will give you a little help. Before even learning what it did, Ceresa was captivated by the intricate brace. Mm -hmm, it looks cool with the butterfly. This is a tool for those who have yet to master the flow of magic. Furthermore, wow. we train under the full moon of the bisextile night. When the dark energy we Umbra harness is at its zenith. <clears throat> Are you listening, young lady? Why was the voice changing in this text? I'm listening. I'm sorry. I'm listening. You seem determined today. Perhaps I should let you nap more often. Yes, mm. ma'am. Ceresa's spirits were high. She was determined to succeed. Bataiva Tozu! 
Okay. Step by step, Cereza flawlessly performed the summoning dance. Until... Uh, okay, what is that? This looked like trouble. <laughs> Unless bound by hair, there will be no way to control the demon. <laughs> the demon turned to ash mere inches from Cereza. Without a proper medium, demons will soon die in our world. Ah, uh, we are finished for today. Mm, she is not happy because she didn't make it. L let me try again, please. Morgana turned and walked away, ignoring her pupil's desperate plea. She is not ready, maybe, to summon someone. That's okay. What kind of witch fears her own summoned familiar? I was foolish to think you were ready for this training. Why is she so mean? Please be nice. Morgana told Teresa to put away the magic brace before heading back to the house. Long after Morgana was gone, Teresa sat moping in the garden. Out of habit, she shared her troubles with Cheshire. Forget returning to the village and saving Mummy. At this rate, I'll never even become a witch. Why is she saying that she's still young, so she can probably become a witch very easily? If she's going to practice, I mean, no one is a witch in a day, right? <laughs> All of a sudden, the words from the boy in her dream echoed in her ears. Avalon Forest, the White Wolf guide you. Avalon Forest! Ceresa's eyes wandered back to the forest. Morgana's repeated warnings left little room for ambiguity. And yet... Morgana is always dangerous this and stay away that. How could a dank old forest be that scary a place mm. anyway? Yeah, we will probably find out soon, right? Adults do often exaggerate to keep kids in their place. Mm. This thought got Ceresa's blood boiling. Grievances started bubbling up. Nothing I do is ever good enough for her. Did you see those herbs? Flawless! <laughs> I As wouldn't she blew say off that. steam to Cheshire, she noticed Morgana's brace shining in the moonlight. What, oh, what are you saying, Cheshire? Take the brace and sneak into the forest? Morgana would give us a right smack on the bottom. Yeah, probably everyone would if you just sneak out as a children into a dark forest. I mean, even though she's a witch, it's dangerous. Although, with the but, moon shining yeah. brightly, it was the ideal chance for a little surreptitious forest excursion. I'm okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, that. if I just had another chance to get the hang of it, I could have gotten that demon totally under wraps. Mm. With a demon by her side, eviscerating a fairy or two would be child's play. That's it! I'm going to that forest! And when I come back with that fantastic power, Morgana will take back everything she said about me not being mm. ready. Let's go, Cheshire. Mm. Next stop, Avalon! I mean, she would probably say, say that you're still not ready because you didn't, you know, notice that you're not ready. Isn't that what growing up is, you know, knowing your limits, accepting them, getting better and stuff like that, you know. Okay, Jasha, let's go. Wait, what? Check. 
Maybe I can say a little wish to the candle. Please may Avalon make my dreams come true. I like the music. And we have some lights. We are going into the forest now. Ceresa shivered at the thought of what lay ahead. But curiosity got the better of her. Okay. What is that? Looks like a hand of a demon. I can climb. Okay. Aren't these like these usually red flowers that symbolize the dead or something like that? I don't know the name of the flowers. But they are literally like in 90% of an anime. <laughs> so. But they are usually red, but they have like this kind of shape as well. Let's go, Cheshire. Okay. I guess something's happening here because the area is so wide. Or maybe not. I don't know if I need to check like... Oh, I can't. The corners and stuff, but I can't. They won't let me check the corners. And so, so Ceresa threw caution and her teacher's warnings to the wind and set out towards Avalon Forest. Little did she know that what lay waiting in those dark woods would change her fate forever. Forever. Let's go, Bayonetta Origins, Ceresa and the Lost Demon. Up until this point, I really like this game, to be honest. It's so cute. I mean, let's see how I, you know, how I be when we need to fight and stuff like that. Uh, do some puzzles <laughs> into the unknown. Okay, now <laughs> let's go. But I really love how this game is made. Okay, so new area found open. Okay, so that's... Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so I think I have two lives on the bottom left. Proceed through the forest. Massive trees blocked almost all light from the moon. An eerie silence enveloped Teresa. She cautiously ventured onwards. Okay. Creepy forest. Ooh, the owls. Above my head. Did <laughs> don't surprise me like that! <laughs> She's afraid. It's okay. I'm here. Oh, what is that? What is that? Onyx roses, the petal from a black rose that blooms in Inferno. The faint magical energy it possesses makes it a favorite garden choice of fairies as well. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, I can climb that, I guess. Okay. This is so high up, just imagine if I fell... Oh. Don't look down. Don't look down. How can she even walk Come here? Come on, Ceresa. One foot in front of the other. We can do it. <laughs> the owls. Owls? A plant from Inferno. I wonder how... Wait, wait, more on witch pulls. These infernal plants are bigger than Morgana's uh, herbs. They will require more magic from witch pulls to reach their full size. Keep holding that L until witch pulls has succeeded multiple times. Be sure not to let go midway. Oh, it will respond to my magic. Okay. My magic is okay. more powerful than before. Could it be the brace? 
Okay, we have powerful magic. I like that. Okay, what is that? Avalon drops. Magical energy crystallized by Avalon. One bite sends a rush of rich sweetness from head to toe, instantly enrapturing anyone. Okay. Oh. Okay. Why is my controller vibrating like hell? Uh, vitality. The petals on the bottom left of the screen are Cerise's vitality. They will decrease when Cerise is attacked by the enemy. If Cerise's vitality runs out, her story will come to an end. Keep a close eye on her remaining vitality at all times. Okay. What 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 do I need to do? Thor in mind, okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. I did it. <laughs> go away. Jump. Okay. Looking into the dark underbrush, Ceresa could not shake the feeling that someone was looking back. Yeah? As the wind rustled the leaves, it sounded just like a rasping voice whispered in her ear. I can't turn back now. I'm going to become a witch and save Mummy. Okay. <laughs> I mean, sometimes we need a challenging adventure to, you know, grow ourselves, I guess. But not in a creepy forest. Yo, bro, what is that? Ew. Oh. Run, Geronimo. Jump. Am I dead? <laughs> no, I'm still here. Okay, where are we? Oh, save point. <laughs> Let's save the game. Chapter two. Okay. Let's just proceed our way that? here. Must have been a rabbit or something. Mm, I guess. Right, not. There was something at the front of the screen. Or like on the top of the screen. Oh, the owls, maybe. Oh, sea is, monsters. Is someone out there? Hello. Is someone there? I'm kind of scared. I'm just a little witch girl. Don't hurt me. What is that? Baby, don't hurt me. Oh man, I would never go into the forest alone. It's so creepy. At least not at night. During the day it's okay. What is happening now? Ceresa could not shake the feeling she was being watched. Is someone there? Show yourself! And then, as if to answer her call... <gasps> oh, bro. What the hell is that? Denizen of the Wood. AOC? These were fairies, nefarious creatures who ensnare the souls of humans who venture into the woods to feed on their vitality. I'm not a human. Just saying. This time there was nowhere to run. Ceresa was backed into a corner. Please, please walk this time. Oh, summoning the demon again. Fingers crossed, 
Ceresa prepared to use the summoning spell she learnt from Morgana. <laughs> Even after the summoning circle had faded away, no one had answered her call. Hmm. I feel kind of bad for her. Why? I did everything right. The fairies resumed their sinister mission. All at once, they jumped at Ceresa, weapons poised to strike. <laughs> She shut her eyes tight and prepared for the worst. A moment passed, uh, huh? and then another. But she felt not so much as a pinprick. What is a pinprick? What? Oh. Who are you? Hi. <laughs> it's kind of ah! creepy. <laughs> That beast, as dark as a moonless night, had it all been a dream? You don't think... could that have been...? But before Ceresa could finish her question... <gasps> Overall. Nice performance. <laughs> Uh, you look kind of creepy. Ch Ch Cheshire? From its gaping maw, extending ear to ear, fell a drop of thick slobber. Yeah. Wait, did I manage to summon a demon that has now possessed Cheshire? As if in reply, the beast growled and bared its blood-red fangs. Just as Ceresa feared, a demon had indeed possessed her beloved stuffed cat. It doesn't look the like a cat. The creature had desperately sought a medium in order to survive in our world. Mm. In lieu of hair, it settled for one made of felt. Looking around, the demon's eyes found Ceresa. It let out a low growl. Can we be friends? <laughs> After her initial terror, Ceresa realized that she was able to understand what the demon was saying. You... you want me to return you to Inferno? Now, how would one go about doing that? I don't know. Ceresa had her hands full calling a demon to this world. She hadn't even begun to study the spell to send them back. Oh, so she summoned him and he wants to get back. Okay. Ceresa once again heard the demon's words, this time even more clearly. Send me back. Send me back. Okay. <laughs> the demon's rage increased by the second, but there was nothing Ceresa could do. Out of patience, he pounced. Claws like daggers descended on Ceresa. Don't kill me. <laughs> uh, what? He can't attack, right? But what if we hear? The demon had stopped cold. As if bound by an invisible force, no matter how he struggled, hmm? he was unable to touch Ceresa. I'm your master. Calm down. You're going to burst the seam. Don't worry. I'll send you home. Mm. Once I figure out how... I'm on my way to get a fantastic power. With that, sending you back should be a piece of cake. Giving up his attack, 
the demon turned his attention elsewhere. Where? Uh, don't Intrigued, go away. <laughs> but a little scared, Ceresa decided to follow a bit behind. Okay, let's go together. R move attack. Okay, so everything I do with like R is is Cheshire and everything I do with Sarisa is L left side of the controller. Okay. I'm mad. The I'm demon mad ran through the forest, searching for a way home. Oh, I can attack multiple times. Let's go. <laughs> Just smashing everything. Let's go. The demon's sharp claws and fangs make short work of fairies. Scratch with ZR and show your infernal might. I'm Let's in go. no mood for pests. Get ready for a face full of claw. The demon left towards the fairies. Slash. Slash. Slash even more. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Oh yeah, slash. Slash. What kind of flower is that? The oh, demon tired. slashed with his razor sharp claws. But something felt <sighs> off. His power seemed to escape him. Slowly mm. but surely. Okay. I guess using his abilities here in this world What's is wrong? taking a lot of energy. Ah! Mm. The demon bared his fangs. He was clearly suffering. Are you sick? Or hungry, perhaps? I think he's just out of energy, but maybe he's hungry as well. I don't know if demons eat in this world. As Cereza approached, the demon felt the strength return to his body. In an instant, mm. he felt right as okay. rain. His body was linked to Cereza by powerful magic. Moving away from her robbed it of its energy. Oh, so that's the reason why they need to stay together. What's that? I need to stay close to you? I've never heard of a spell like this before. How do you plan on getting me back to Inferno? The demon demanded. We first need to find a white wolf. He'll show us the way. Leave it to me. I'll find him. Mm? Said the demon as he clambered to his feet. Um... I'm Cereza. What's your name? I have no name, replied the demon curtly. That's kind of sad, but I don't know if demons actually have names. So. You don't have a name? That must be terribly inconvenient. Though I must admit, I haven't the faintest idea about demonic manners. May I call you Cheshire? That's the name of the stuffed cat you decided to borrow after all. Mm. Well, I need to call you something. If mm. you're going to make a fuss about it, why don't you just find a new body? True. Fine. I'll just call you whatever I please. Hmm. And so these strange companions set off in search of the white wolf. What mysteries await in Avalon Forest? I mean, we are actually a cute team, right? Sarisa and Cheshire can move about separately. Move Sarisa with L and move Cheshire with R. 
They cannot be far apart for an extended period of time. Watch the distance between them. Oh, that's quite inconvenient to move both at the same time, bro. Because, I don't know, it's quite hard to concentrate on, like... The demons seem to have calmed I down. Don't know. <laughs> Remembering that he could not touch her, Ceresa breathed a sigh of relief. Because I always want to move a camera or something with, like, R. I'm getting better. Wait. What is that? So there is a lot of tutorial and stuff going on. So a lot of reading, not, not too much the gameplay right now. Tickled Ceresa's nose. It was rosemary, mm. often used to ward off evil spirits. Okay. But he doesn't like it because he's an evil spirit. As soon as the scent reached Cheshire, he pulled away, face scrunched up in disgust. Yeah, what do we do? It looked like demons could not stand being anywhere near the flower. Oh, being a demon, Cheshire can stand rosemary. Whenever it pops up, Cheshire will need to take a different path. Yeah, I was going to say that he probably needs to go somewhere else. Okay, we need to go here and we can go here. <laughs> it's so weird to play like two different characters at the same time. This would be a nice co-op game. You know, jump and run co-op. Okay, let me just climb here. And then we will be together again. Oh wait, I need to come here. So I can perform the dance. Missed. Dancing like a pro, hi. It's so hard to, for my brain to, you know, press many buttons at the same time. Oh, that again. Can I kill it with Cheshire? This was quite a pickle, but Ceresa knew how to get by without a scratch. Yeah, but is the demon not too big? Cheshire! I've got it tied down! Finish it! Okay. Slash, slash, slash. Bruh, nice teamwork. Okay, let's go. Where is that? Okay, I'm getting good at this. What are we doing with the roses? Oh, wait. Wait, I'm, I'm confused. Sorry. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's so hard to play two characters at the same time, bro. What? <laughs> I'll go first to make a path. You okay. wait here. Okay, okay, you wait here, Cheshire. I'm going to... No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. That's not good. It's going to eat her. Smash! Stop! 
Let's go, teamwork. Oh, is he hurt? All at once, Cheshire's body shrunk to its original cuddly form. Okay, what happened? He used all his power, maybe? I don't know. What the hell happened to him? Cheshire! Are you okay, little boy? Cerisa ran to pick up Cheshire and held him tightly to her chest. No? Oh. In her arms, Cheshire felt his strength returning. Release me at once! Even in this mm -hmm. form, the demon did not seem happy about being cuddled. <laughs> Just hold still, will you? While you're small, you can't walk on your own, right? I'll carry you until you can transform again. Not That's having a cute. massive demon breathing down my neck will make it easier for me to mm. calm down too. While far from pleased about being treated like a stuffed animal, the demon had no choice but to swallow his pride. When in his stuffed animal form, Theresa can hold Cheshire and move with him. When moving about together, you can move Theresa with L and extend Cheshire with R. Okay. Huh. Even with you in there, Cheshire still weighs the same Aww. as before. You can switch between moving together and moving apart at any time. Oh, that's great, that's great. Both have their uses, so don't forget either. Unleashed mode is where you move the two separately. Press R when holding Cheshire to have him jump out. Hug mode is where you move together. Press L to revert Cheshire to a stuffed animal. Okay. That's more convenient because I don't need to you know play with like two characters at once give me i think this collectible collectibles are for something right i don't know how long this demo takes to be finished but i guess at least two hours If I'm doing it correctly. <clears throat> okay. She can't go up there. Sure. Okay, what do I need to do then? new I like that that's cool okay come on Jesha but why does it tell me to extend him when I don't need to extend oh yeah no. <laughs> okay wait so <clears throat> I know rosemary oh, rosemary yeah I know I'm seeing that. Cheshire, I'll toss you up there. See if there's a way forward. How? In hack mode, Cheshire can be tossed to certain high places with L searching high and low to find a new way forward. Okay, okay, so Cheshire, come on. over here! Over here. Wait, wait wrong button. <laughs> okay. 
When far away or blocked by Rosemary, there are times Cheshire cannot return to hug mode. When this happens, look for another way to unite the two. Okay. Okay. Wait, I can't... Okay. I can't see. So there is Rosemary. Come over here. I can't see. There is more Rosemary. So, Rosemary is everywhere. I need to come up this way and then throw him. <laughs> come okay. here. Throw him here. And then I can walk through the rosemary. And then. Okay, 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 okay. Why am I jumping this far? Okay, that was good teamwork. We did it. Oh shit. You're getting punished. Magic Butterfly pick one up to recover the spell cooldown gauge, allowing Cerisa to cast Umbran Arts again more quickly. Okay, I can't even see the Okay. It's kinda hard to use both in combat at the same time. Okay. We did it. I like that. This game is so much fun. <laughs> I love it. A chest. Did the fairies make this? I wonder what's inside. Let's see. Open the treasure chest. Cool. <laughs> Healing tonic, umbra and medicine in a bottle shaped like a paddle. Use it to slightly restore Cerise's vitality. You can now con co what? <laughs> okay, more on your own. Okay, huggy mode. No oh, wrong. I'm always pressing R. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Okay. We need to do some teamwork here. Let's go. Smash you. Okay, how can I get there? Oh. But what is that? How? Okay. Run, Geronimo. Okay, Cheshire, you need to come here. And then we do it like this, and then I can toss you over there. And then we need to go... Oh, I need to go this way. Okay, we're back together. <laughs> jump. On jump. Again. Let's go. Ah! Yeah. Jump! Hey! Give me a break! <laughs> what the hell is happening? Oh, where? Oh, how? Oh! Let's 
kind of funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, we're having a nice adventure. That was not fun. It, it was, <laughs> actually. Okay, bunnies. Oh, what is that? What have we here? Saving there point? There were signs that a witch had set up camp here. Oh. Really? Perhaps I'm not the first witch to enter this forest. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> More oh, outcast well. witches. Who we've got a place to rest? Hmm? Look what we have here. Gold? Wait, is it the salamander? Baked gecko, a compound sealed in crystal, interestingly can have various effects on the user depending on how well it's baked. <laughs> a compound sealed in crystal, unicorn horn, okay, what kind of unicorn is that, a demon one? Knocked straight of a poor unicorn, maybe used for ornamental purposes, depending on their length and sparkle. Mandragora root, a compound sealed in crystal, breaks out into a screaming fit over every little thing. Best to pack it deep in your rucksack. Why not say backpack? New sanctuary. Or maybe I can do like some fast traveling. Switch map view. Large red arches are sanctuaries that can be unlocked just by approaching. Be sure to unlock one whenever you pass by. I'm sorry, Jesha. We are resting. Try making an item, okay. Ingredients. This is an item acquired. Want to learn how to con... con Concocting? <laughs> Why? Let's try making a healing tonic. Okay. Begin. I'm not saying this word. It sounds weird. After adding the co compounds, mix everything together. Okay, we're mixing. Yes! <laughs> okay. Doing some witchcraft outside. Use items you've made holding. Okay, check what you can make with item list. Okay, I can just make a healing tonic. Wait, I wanted to save. We need to rest. We need to rest. I wanna save the game. Okay, and then continue. Our journey. Hey! Look over there! What? <gasps> the white wolf! Before them it's stood so a large creepy. wolf. Its snow white fur shone pale silver in the moonlight. The design is so creepy. Avalon Forest, the white wolf guide you. Ceresa was captivated by the wolf. It seemed almost not of this world. Yeah, <laughs> because of the creepy design. Hey, huh? Don't run away. Wait for us. Let's go, Cheshire. Okay, someone is destroying the exit, I guess. Or the path back. So I can't go back anymore. I'm just going to die. Review controls. Review game instructions. That's where the travel wi wisdom can be accessed anytime from... Wait, what? Whatever this is, yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. 
Okay. Shade Hill, follow the wolf. Okay, so I'm guessing it's starting now to be... to get serious. Oh. Footprints. Tracks left by the white wolf following them might help lead the way. Check nearby for more. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there is nothing here. I don't like it that I can't move the camera. Oh, there's a chest. Ooh. Mighty attack. Blast cocktail, an umbran potion in a thorn laced bottle. Use it to create a shock wave stunning all nearby enemies. You can now con concoct more in on your own. Okay. Let's follow the footprints. What? What's that? Ha! Oosh, what? <laughs> the world before Ceresa seemed to warp and bend. She blinked hard to no avail. Could this be a fairy trick? Cheshire was losing patience with his hesitant companion. Why Come I'm a scared on. little girl. We still got that wolf to catch. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting ready. Just give me a second. <laughs> she is so scared. Okay, let's go. I'm not afraid. What the hell? Wh what is this? As soon as she took a step inside, she felt as if the breath had frozen in her chest. All around her were mm. sights strange and terrible. As if she had been dragged into a waking nightmare. I... I'm fine. It takes more than this to scare me. It kind of reminds me of Snow White when she's going into the forest. How am I supposed to find my way in here? <gasps> what? Suddenly, Ceresa's magic brace began to glow. What could it be? I don't know. Maybe some of the stones I collected. These spelling illusions. That distortion created by fairies is full of illusions. Use your magic with set L to dispel the illusions and see th through their deceptions. Okay. The light from the brace revealed things Ceresa was unable to see before. Does this brace have the power to dispel illusions? Okay, can we go together, please? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Why is There's it glowing that here. much? Yeah. Upon close inspection, there appeared to be distortions, as if the air itself had cracked. Equally confused, the girl and demon exchanged a glance. That wolf was just up ahead. Cheshire's indecision did not last long, but try as he might, he was unable to open the cracks any further. magic to open it come on we have no mm. idea what's lurking on the other side i mean come on i have a demon now so why would i be afraid to go through that so <laughs> let's just go snort at Ceresa's cowardice i am not making excuses you are <laughs> come on. all right fine 
Okay, Cereza. Just like you practiced. Okay, let's go. Why is this game so much fun? It's been such a long time since I last enjoyed like this Once puzzle jump and run game. to the brilliant light. What lay before them was a sight unlike anything either had seen before. I wish there was a little bit more gameplay to be honest because the story is taking really much time now and I have uh, I have the feeling that I haven't played too much. I want m a little bit more gameplay and and maybe the story uh, telling part more while I'm playing the game and not just like these parts in a book. But other than that, I really like it. I enjoy the story and I enjoy the gameplay. But it could be a little bit more gameplay. What is yes, this place? Yes. I have a feeling we're not in Avalon anymore. Isn't like Morgana really pissed? Cheshi! I promise to send you back. Yes, my dearest Cerise. I still can't save anyone. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that that was it? Oh, I wanna It's really expensive. Okay, the journey continues. Sarissa and Cheshire's adventure continued in the full version. You can start right from where you left off in a demo. Okay, guys, that's it. Unfortunately, I wanted to explore it a little bit more. Maybe I will buy this game in the future. I don't know, but not right away. I really enjoyed it. Maybe I will uh, play the game by myself. But I still hope you enjoyed the demo gameplay. That's it for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.